Hey guys, welcome back to the games here. I heard about this game called the Stanley Parable, and it's supposed to be pretty interesting, kind of like an inception, if you will. I find it highly ironic because I actually played hooky today, and I'm playing a game about office work. This is the story of a man named Stanley. So let's enjoy this. Let's see if we like this game. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, mm. as though he had been made exactly for this job. Vaguely familiar. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped uh, out of okay, his office. Okay, I'm moving around now here. Let's see. Uh, oh, nice paper trays here. We got the uh, green, red, yellow motif with the yellow and a mustard. Uh, they really need to kind of change the... Uh, it's an office. All right, so... There, yeah, so let's go, right? Okay. No. Okay. Nobody's All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace hey, of hey, his no, co-workers. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, actually. The narrator. I like the narrator. In a way. Where's the meeting room at? <laughs> you see? You see? <laughs> uh, okay. It's a ladder. This thing's working. Uh huh. Okay, so far, I mean, like, how impressed can you be with a game that looks like this, really? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't listen. I don't listen to rules. This was not the correct oh. way to the meeting like room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> so is, is it a game of choice? Wow, okay, we got different colors. Huh? Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh, okay. It's, uh, let's look at the clock. Let's look at the clock here. 11.25. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that kind of looks a little bit spooky there. What's in here? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible <laughs> he wasn't fired years ago. Alright, we'll go this way. Interesting. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause death. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. 
I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for <laughs> her. For who? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, man. This is, I don't like dark rooms very much. Oh, shit. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay, this is a little bit strange of a game. Let's pick up the phone. 